Do you know the reason why the fence was erected and why there's two law enforcement officers stationed here all day? Is there like a uh, reason sure for it? The reason I know it's just to just more safety. Just I don't understand. Security from cameras. They were really quick to take my property unlawfully and take my freedom away from me. But in order to get my property back after the, all the charges have been dismissed, it's gonna take some time. That doesn't seem right. And there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we're walking up to the Nassau County Police Department headquarters to retrieve our property now that our criminal cases have been dismissed, this fence wasn't here before. This was an open parking lot. I conducted an audit. This is the Nassau County Executive Building here. This used to be open to the public and because a man with a camera, the Nassau County government used our tax dollars in order to seal it off because they're terrified of transparency and accountability. Nassau County employees and visitors only do not enter. And not only did they erect this fence here at taxpayer cost, they have one and two Nassau County police officers stationed here all day long to protect the Nassau County executive from men and women with cameras, from transparency and accountability. This officer here earns a six-figure paycheck. This officer over here on the other side, another six-figure paycheck, over $200,000 plus the cost of this nice fence they have here in order to secure the Nassau County Executive from transparency and accountability. It's absolutely disgusting. Hey, how are you, officer? How you doing? Question for you. Yeah. So I see here it says visitor parking. Yeah. If I wanted to park here, I would have to speak to you first? No, you'd have to have an appointment. You have to have an appointment? And how do you confirm if somebody has an appointment or not? Um, confirm with the inside. So when somebody like a visitor came by here, I just want to get a the sense for how it would work. If I had an appointment at the Nassau County Executive Building, I would come here. No, you got to go with going through the front yeah. so there's no public parking here whatsoever no. okay are you stationed here all day all day, all day. Uh, you're from the third precinct third precinct can i get your name and badge number by the way thank you officer Dupre. i appreciate it yeah just this was curious this fence wasn't here i i, I know no, it's, it's recently constructed recently constructed yeah okay yeah, I was just curious, that's all. I, I've never seen this fence here before, and I was just curious, how would you park? So you would probably park over here in the on the street parking or the in order to visit, and you go into the front. Yeah, so there's a lot over there that usually visitors can use the Right, park, right, right, right. Find spot on the street, they can park there. Right, right, right. Then, Do you know the reason why the fence was erected and why there's two law enforcement officers stationed here all day? Is there, like, a uh, reason sure for it? The reason, I know, it's just to, just more safety, just to keep on. Security? Yeah, security reasons. Gotcha, gotcha. Security from who? <laughs> I don't understand. Security from cameras? Let's see this interaction. So that would be like a Nassau County employee? Yeah. Oh, they have parking passes. That's how it works. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So security from like cameras, security from like just general security? General security. During general security. Yeah, no, I just because. Right, so just right. I don't. I don't remember a time where society was ever completely safe. A lot of crazy people from the beginning of time, man. It's been crazy out here. But yeah, that other officer stationed there all day as well. Yeah. So on both sides, there's an officer, and you can enter in either side of your county no, employee. This is the only, this is the only side so that person, that officer, is over there just to make sure nobody hops the fence. No. So that the public safety is down there. Okay. Gotcha. Public safety is down there. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, officer. Well, I appreciate your time answering my questions today. Thank you so much. You stay safe, okay? You too. Got your nice fence to protect you. <laughs> Take care. Oh, man, ladies and gentlemen, what a joke. What a joke, putting up this fence with these signs, all for a man with the camera. Taxpayer money. If you're a resident of Nassau County, this is where your taxpayer money is going, to protect county employees from journalists, from asking questions, and gathering content promoting transparency and accountability that's where it's going they need to be safe with the nassau county police headquarters 
right next door. And I'm sure there's plenty of law enforcement inside. You have two law enforcement officers stationed here all day long. How ridiculous is that? Anyways, let's go inside the Nassau County Police Headquarters and get our property back. Very quickly, just for some context, before we go inside of the headquarters here, my charges were dismissed earlier today in Nassau County District Court. We have been given the runaround from the Nassau District Attorney's Office and Police Commissioner Psycho Riders Police Department here about getting our property back. So we decided, I decided to send over an email to the Deputy Chief District Attorney to see if we can expedite this because they had no idea when I'd be able to get my property back. I told them that they were really quick to take my property unlawfully and take my freedom away from me. But in order to get my property back after the, all the charges have been dismissed, it's gonna take some time. That doesn't seem right. So I sent an email and I'll put it here on the screen. You can pause to read to the Deputy Chief State's uh, District Attorney, excuse me, Dana Grossblatt. And, uh, you know, within 30 minutes of that email, we got a call from a detective saying that my cell phone is ready for pickup. So let's go pick it up. So right as we enter here, audio video recordings are prohibited. Forbidden without the express permission of Nassau County Police Commissioner Psycho Rider. Hey, how are you, sir? Good. Hey, I'm here to pick up my property. Yep. Sure. Thank you, sir. No problem. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm here to pick up my property. Sean Paul Breas. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. How many different signs do you need to say no electronic recording shall be used while in this building? I count three different signs. But Patrick Ryder, as we know, hates transparency. That's why we brought transparency to him. If you haven't seen the video where I rented a billboard truck and drove it around Nassau County, including the commissioner's neighborhood, just to make ourselves clear that we're not going to tolerate him sending mass thugs to my home, intimidating my family. And we're going to expose him because he has political aspirations, and we're not going to allow that. Mr. Reyes? Yes, sir. Hi, can I have your license? Sure. Sure. I'll be right back. No problem. Impounded vehicles that were a result of arrest for DUI are to call asset forfeiture. For those of you who do not know, the police commissioner, Patrick Psycho Ryder, was in charge of asset forfeiture before he became police commissioner. Do me a favor? Sure. Sign this for me? No problem, sir. Okay, take the pen. Thank you, sir. You are all You set. have a great day, okay? You, Take you, care. Bye-bye. Finally, after months and months and months of being without my property because I was unlawfully arrested, we have it back in hand. We will have some of the arrest video on here. The rest is going to be on body camera footage that I can show each and every one of you now thanks to the court order for me not showing you the body camera footage being lifted, as well as those pesky order protections against law enforcement officers and government officials have been vacated as a result of this dismissal. So stay tuned for all of that. I'll be covering everything in detail. I really appreciate your support. None of this is possible without your support. Again, we have to highlight the tyranny and corruption happening in Nassau County. It's a whole bunch of it. There's more to come. They are trying to retaliate against me for the billboard truck and exercising my First Amendment right to protest the Nassau County Commissioner. 
they just don't know when enough is enough. They just like to lose in court over and over again. So, you know, we're, we're never going to give up. They have unlimited resources that they take in tax money from We The People. I have resources that come from We The People out of the kindness of their heart and of the love for freedom in their country. So I appreciate all your support. Each and every one of you makes this possible. We have our property back after several months of being without it. As you know, there will be a federal lawsuit incoming to hold them accountable. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.